In this video we're continuing with the two functions from the last example. Uh, now we want to look at, in this case, g of f of x. So in the previous video we did f of g of x, now we're going to do g of f of x. Again, my advice if you're having any difficulty with this idea of composition is to do it kind of a step at a time. So write it down with blanks, g of blank. g is the function 7x minus 2. So it's going to take whatever you give it, multiply it by 7, and then subtract 2. So g of blank equals 7 times blank minus 2. And then we're going to fill in the blanks with whatever we're putting into g, which in this case is f of x. So the 2x squared minus 5x. We're going to plug that into our two blanks. Okay, and then we just want to simplify at this point. So 7 times 2x squared is 14x squared. 7 times minus 5x is minus 35x, minus 2. And in this case, there's nothing else I can do there. None of those things are like terms, so we leave it as 14x squared minus 35x, minus 2. Okay. Let's do one final example here with these two functions. We can also compose a function with itself. So I could do f of f or g of g. I chose g of g because it's a little bit easier uh, than doing f of f, but we could definitely do f of f. It'd be just a little bit more work. So g of g, we're going to write down g with a bunch of blanks. 7 blank minus 2, and then we're going to fill in the blanks this time with g. So we're going to put 7x minus 2 into both blanks. So 7 times 7x minus 2 and then we multiply through. 7 times 7 is 49x. 7 times 2 is minus 14. And then of course we still have the minus 2 and then we do have some like terms here. 49x minus 16. 49x minus 16.